Braver is considered a class with high mobility and flashy photon arts. This is partly due to Braver's katana. With their silver blue slashes and their loud clashing sounds, it definitely does make Braver super flashy. In this video, I'm going to show you all the photon arts for Katana Braver. Tsukimi Sazanka is a PA that slashes you upwards. The PA isn't really used for much damage, however it's a nice PA to use for upward movement. If you use it normally, you will just slash upward at a nice height, however if you do jump, you don't have that kind of height it gives you normally. After the photon art, you can definitely connect with other photon arts as well. This photon art wouldn't be used too much for DPS, as it's not as fast and it's not as optimal as other photon arts. Gekazakuro is a PA that launches you upwards, performs a downward slash, followed by an upward slash. Although doing a 360 in air is cool, it's not best to do this on the ground. You would only want to use this PA while you're airborne, since it skips the first animation. This makes a Gekka very powerful to use after PAs that leave you in the air. Because of Gekka's combo capabilities and high damage, it's definitely a bread and butter PA for Braver. You can use Gekka after crafted Sakurendo Type 0, Tsukimi, and also Counter Edges. However, it's definitely recommended to only use after Counter Edges or crafted Sakurendo. So remember not to use Gekka as a PA by itself, but after using PAs that leave you airborne or while you're airborne. Kanran Kikyo is a great photon art to use for clearing mobs and doing great AoE damage. Since this is a charge photon art, you're going to want to land the charge appropriately so you can do the maximum damage. It's a great skill to spam, however if you're not spamming it correctly on the right charge, you're going to lose a lot of damage. More specifically, if you don't charge it, you only do 34% of the damage and it's only one hit. If you fully charge it, it's two hits and it does 100% of the total damage. 50% for both hits. Sakurendo is a charged photon art that performs two high damaging slashes. Since this is the PC version and I'm still waiting on an NA, I'll go over the crafted version. Since this is a charged photon art, make sure to land the charge appropriately to do the maximum damage. The initial slash does 45% of the total damage, the second slash does 55% of the total damage. This photon art is great for single target DPS and also great for DPS on clumped up mobs. Like we mentioned before, it's great with Gekka Zakura. However, it's a great PA even by itself. This will probably be the photo scenario you'll use the most as Braver. Hyantsubaki is a katana photon art that lets you throw your katana like a boomerang and catch it right back. Although it's a cool concept and looks like it does a good amount of damage, it doesn't compete as well with DPS with other Photon Arts. The good thing about Hien Tsubaki is that you can stay in the air while you're using the Photon Art. With this Photon Art, you have to commit as you cannot cancel the animation as well. Although it's nice to have a ranged katana photon art, there is a better one that we'll go over later in this video. Asagari Rendon is a katana photon art that dashes you forward at a long distance, then performs seven unique slashes around your character. The first six slashes do 12.5% of its total damage, and the last horizontal slash does 25% of the total damage. This photon art is great for movement and gap closing on certain bosses and monsters. The animation can be cancelled just by guarding or even dashing. The dash also allows you to be invincible, so you won't get hit unless you're in the attack animation. You can also move in multiple directions, even during the dash and the attack itself. You can cancel the dash animation just by turning at least 90 degrees from the original position. This wouldn't be your go-to DPS photon art, however it's great to gap close with and do some extra damage once you reach your monster you're trying to kill. 
Hatorindo is a katana photon art that shoots gusts of katana slashes towards your enemy. This photon art is a great substitute for Hinsubaki because with this one, you can actually cancel the animation and it has better potential for damage. Since this is a charged photon art, you will always want to make sure you actually charge completely or you lose a lot of damage. Although there's a straight line of attacks, you're going to only want to land all the attacks from the end of the photon art. With some good practice, you can definitely start using the Sotan art much more often, especially against bosses with multiple hitboxes. Shinka Shinran is a charged katana photon art that dashes into the enemy and can follow up with four extra slashes. The photon art does great damage, however it can be inconsistent since you have to land the last two hits. More specifically, the first hit does 10% of the total damage, the next two slashes do 12 and 14%, and where the big damage comes from, the last two hits is 30% and 34%. So if you miss time or the boss moves and you can't land your last two, you lose 64% of the total damage the PA actually does. For this reason, it's best to stick with those bread and butter photon arts that we spoke about instead of using the Shinka. Crafted Kazan Nadeshko is a photon art that charges and unleashes a devastating attack by slamming your katana straight into the enemy. With the crafted version, there's three charge levels that correspond with how much damage it does. With the first charge being 30% of the total damage, the second charge being 45% of the total damage, and the last charge being 100% of the total damage. You can also charge it in the air and you'll stay floating, and either way, you can still move around and aim where you need to aim. This photon art is great to use when you're waiting for a boss to show up or some other mob to get ready to do a nice hit. This photon art used to be great for saving your katana gear and actually filling it up while it's active. However, a recent change caused it so it doesn't do that anymore. This is more of a bursting PA rather than a DPS PA, so make sure not to use it as DPS like Sakura Endo as it uses 40 PP and it doesn't do as much damage as it should for speed. Fudo Kuchinashi is a photon art that does a big AoE aura around you that stuns nearby mobs. It's great to use against mobs that usually move around and protect their weak point, so you can stun them and actually attack their weak point without them blocking it. It's also nice to use against multiple mobs that are attacking at once. Hopefully you can stun a few so they don't do as much attacks. So make sure to use this photon art as a utility photon art rather than something for DPS. Gudentessen is a katana PA that does a dash, then at the end of the dash, it does a slash, followed by another slash in the direction you choose. The first slash does 20% of the total damage, and the second slash does the 80%, so it's definitely recommended to land that second slash when you can. Like mentioned before, you can choose which direction you want your second slash to go to. It's still a great gap closer, however it doesn't compete with the Sagiri movement, as you have to guard cancel to continue the dash. It's still a great gap closer, it's more bursty compared to Sagiri as it only does 2 hits, rather than the whole 7 hits that Sagiri does. Just like guard cancelling, you can also cancel the second attack with normal attacks, or even regular photon arts. I wouldn't focus using this PA as DPS, however it's still a great gap closer to use for damage. And those are all the Katana Photon Arts available. Hopefully this does help. I know that NA doesn't have crafted versions yet. Uh, however, hopefully they will have them soon. And you guys can enjoy those crafted Sakura Endos and Kazana Deshkos. Unfortunately, I didn't have the English translations available for me. Uh, so I left the icons so they can actually match the ones you guys have. Hopefully that does help a little bit for NA players. Hey, and also leave a comment down below. Let me know which Photon Art was your favorite. Which one was probably the flashiest as well. 
And of course, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and make sure to like and subscribe. See ya.